Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the full release, finally out of early access. Now, this is a game I absolutely adore, but sadly had to leave on the channel quite some time ago, despite recording quite a lot of it. The main reason was I was playing in an older version, a pre-release version, an early access version, which I just ran out of stuff to do. I found I was just repeating the same action over and over and not really getting enough footage, and then I made the rookie mistake of starting a season 2 too early, and then once again running into the same problem, a lot of recording for pretty much no video. But now, finally, the full release is here, and I'm so happy to be taking another look at it. So right now, I am planning on this video being being a single, it's going to be a one-off, although I will do a series if people really want to see it. Either way though, I will definitely be streaming this over on Twitch, the link will be in the description. So it's a brand new version and let's get straight into it then. Let's do a new world. So how do I actually start a new game? I think it's over here. Naturally, I derped up straight away. All of these are old saves. This is the new game button, which I didn't have space for. Yep, it's going to be one of those days. So let's call it version 1.0.2, which is our current version in the top left. Hurrah for full release. We will do story mode, experience the story of Adam, recommended for new players. Although I'm not a new player, I haven't played in months, so let's do that. Also, this means we get to experience the new intro cinematic, which I haven't seen yet. So here we go with the cinematic. So much cuteness. Not the smartest thing to do, God will admit. Hello Adam, so here we are in the game itself. Tutorial, try and see if you can still walk. Let's go there. It seems you're not injured, that's good news. It was a long day, time to get some sleep. But first, ooh, they've changed how a lot of this stuff looks. So, for those who don't know how this game works, essentially, it's meant to be a genetics game. So as you can see, there are all host of genes here, which you can pass on to the next generation of this lovely creature, and you can add things like mutations and stuff like that as you continue for different types of stats so that you can survive in the islands you live on, each of which are somewhat unique. And they really have changed this quite a bit. So he has the passive gene, or the inactive gene, of being short-sighted. Now before, there was a certain order of things. Certain traits were more dominant. Well, were more. Hmm. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted there. Some are more dominant than others, some are more passive. And I think that still goes. So, for instance, if I recall, certain body types would always beat other body types. So, if you had one for small body, one for large. If the large is more dominant, that will always be expressed. It's the dominant gene. Sometimes they can both be expressed because, you know, genetics and stuff. Okay, end of day. The world looks brighter today. Time to explore this new place. I would like food. And then let's move again. Your food count is in the bottom right. Ooh, and there's something new here. I don't know what that is. This island seems to be deserted. A pathway of stones leads to another island. Okay, then. Move Adam to the flowers and then move on. 
Move there, move there, move there. Come on, Adam. Also, you're now an alpha. Well done. How long does it take for him to turn into an adult? An adult has three of these little gems. The gems basically indicate how much energy they have per turn. So how many moves they can actually do. There we go, now you're an adult. Let's go to the next island. Yes. Did you hear that? It sounds like another animal is living on this island. Find the wild animal and offer it food to join your tribe. Tip, you can switch your perception mode in the bottom right corner. Once again, something I didn't see before. Oh, that's neat. So, hearing, sight, and smell. That's cool, because before, I remember there was a gene which would make you either blind or something similar to that, but would massively increase your smell and hearing. Once again, smell, hearing, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, let's move there. Okay, well, I, I can smell the food, so I assume I would see that even if it's in a bush. Apparently, you haven't got very good smell. Poisonous fangs, smelling plus one, but that's it. For ears, medium ears, so plus three hearing. Hmm, nothing really there. Aha! Oh god, Eve has the derp snout. The crack- oh no, it's not the derp snout, it's the cracker jaw. I've not seen that before. Let's say have. Plus two cracking, plus two smelling. You have no horns. So I have to wait until next turn. Eve, I believe, is always randomly generated. Offer five food to join us. Hello, Eve. There we go. There are moles now. Uh, already done that one. So, if I mate with Eve, it means that we get a new baby. Is that a nest we're on now? It looks a bit different how it used to. Well, either way. Soon your animal will become parents. Ah, animals will become parents and raise the next generation. Your animals grow older and will die one day. You can check their age on the bottom right. Yep. Eve is pregnant, but she needs a nest to build to give birth. Isn't this a nest? Oh, that's what that is. It's building material. That's interesting. We can also grab high grass. I do believe that's a nest though, right? I guess we'll find out next turn. Can I smell- aha! Yeah, so I can smell all of these around here. And that's because of Eve's better smelling as well, as you can see, it's much further ranged. So she can see- well, smell, there's a food bush in that bush over there, the long grass rather. Next turn. There we go! So, what genes did you get from your parents? Double the cracker jaws, so apparently the poison fangs weren't even passed on. No horns, sadly. Would be good to have got Eve's horn genes there, the ram. Because that gives plus one strength. Oh no, you did get poison fangs, that was me clicking on the wrong thing, okay. Big body, big body. Eve has, a, Eve has a medium body. Is medium more dominant than, than big body all the time? I guess we'll find out in the future. Digging claw. Yeah, I, I did see about that. Either way, though, I think we should just move on then. After I kill the mole, of course. Blood for the blood god and all that. Oh, yeah. The baby can't move this turn. I forgot. It's been a while. Sorry, baby, just left you alone there. Ooh, an acorn. Warmed up. This animal is being warmed up by its pack. Oh, I wonder what that does. This is the end of the tutorial. Okay, then. Just grab some food while I'm here, I suppose. Um, try and get some more bedding material. Ooh, is that a crab? Well, that didn't work. Low chance of cracking it. Um, you have digging paw and, yeah, the cracker jaw. So you are better at killing the crabs. You are just a bit more dangerous with your venomous fangs. Mm -hmm. 
and it's time to move on. So apparently you can actually now banish people from your tribe, which is pretty interesting. Also, the funny thing is with these lovely animals we have right now is that we have either a rather oversized head or quite a small head. There is no in-between in our pack. Ooh, a nest. Okay, well, Eve, go to there please and dig out a little bit. Let's check our hearing and our smell. Nothing out of the ordinary, okay. Well, there's also a tree, so we can go ahead and start harvesting from there quite quickly. Uh, you're old enough now to go on and continue. Ooh. To be an albino, you actually have the gene here now. That's different. Also, fishing tail as a passive. Now, when it comes to the mutators, this can help us sculpt our future children. So, let's go with... So, it's a 50% chance and a 50% chance. So, let's go with... Wait, fertility is a thing now as well? Yeah, I, I, okay, one second. I need to actually have a look at this. So, the big thing is the immune genes. If you have a double, it means you have a higher chance of getting sick, which I believe now is a lot worse than it used to be. Honestly, the old illness system was so mild, I completely ignored it for the most part, just going for the rest of the genes, all the positive genes. But now it should be more of an issue for us. So, either way... Eve has A, B, Adam has Home Island Immunity and G, the new baby has B and that. So there's no chance with Eve and Adam to have a child which has double the genetic immunity, which is good because that can cause all sorts of problems. So what type of mutators do I want for Eve's children? You see here, blind eyes has plus two smelling, plus zero eyesight, obviously, plus one hearing. Which is really actually not that bad. With the new systems. Deformed poor, obviously we don't want that. Mask would be adorable. I'll oh, go on then. For a pattern, and then I want horns. So, let's go with red horns. So red horns, and then the mask. There's the derps. Oh, the derps now, now has plus smelling, so it isn't completely worthless. What are yours like, though? Your current... Ooh. Didn't, mean, didn't actually mean to click that, but that's something to look into in the future. Oh, well, this jaw is better than the derp jaw still. Okay, then. So... You... Okay, so there's food right there, so that's what we need to go for. Just clear the grass so we can move a bit faster in the future. And next turn. Hello, new child. You are a... okay. Any horns? Blind eyes sadly did pass on from Eve. Ooh, I, I didn't even notice that. Both of the children have the blind eyes passive. That's really not too good. And you are male. Okay, so... I guess just continue. Ooh, look at Acorn. You you have the Cracker Jaw. Okay, yeah, so you can actually eat those, which is great. Oh, found the nest. And found some food. There we are. I guess I should just leave Eve here, so just do some digging around for some extra food, I guess. And next turn... Okay, baby, you can start moving by yourself now, so you can go this way to explore. A bit early, I think, but still. Not quite sure what the warming up actually does. Baby animal. This animal is still very young and has therefore reduced abilities and will die when attacked. I can't smell or see anything, so I think we're safe-ish for now. Adam's just gonna stay around here and just collect food for us. You over there mate, and move into the new nest. Yay! Ooh! What happened there? Bleeding and parasites. Infected by leech. Ooh! Was that something I, I could have avoided? Was that something I could have seen? I've never seen a leech before. Is that a leech? That's a leech, isn't it? 
Is it? It is it gone? No, it's still there. Hmm. Either way, uh, get some acorns for some extra food. We are not doing the best for food. Now, back to the new child. Blind eyes again coming through. Adam has short-sighted eyes. That's not too bad, actually. Plus one eyesight, plus one smelling. It's not so extreme. Anyway, so Adam can remove the parasite, which gives us food, and can cure the bleeding, and then get some food for us as well. Aw, oh, you're cute, your red um, fur. Not got the mask still, which is a shame. No horns as well. Maybe I should put the mutator on Adam as well. That's something I should, really should have thought of before this. I'm probably blundering quite a bit, by the way, but, you know, it's just what it is. And then... Where's the mask? Probably not the most important thing in the world, but it looks pretty, okay? Now, so there is actually fertility. I wonder if that means if they have low fertility, there's just a chance of them not breeding when they breed. I mean, that makes sense, wouldn't it? Okay, child, you are continuing forwards. Eve, just uh, do some digging around here and some collecting, and next turn. Now, the first island, obviously, is pretty darn safe. You can eat, you can eat, you can shake. I injure uh, you are female. I'm just thinking that Eve's getting a little bit old here, so the problem is we are going to need to do some inbreeding at some point. And I'm just looking at what can breed with what without causing an issue. For instance, this male here and this new female don't share any genetic... Any immune genes, I should say. Which means we can breed them together. So if we find a new nest, those two can be together. It's a little bit... Yeah, but it is what it is. It is nature and all that. Felt like not much really happened that turn. I still don't know what warmed up actually does. Oh, maybe it reduces the chance of getting sick. That would make sense to me. That would. Ooh, I just accidentally constructed a nest. Didn't even mean to do that, honestly. Because I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, so, well, I did know it was a thing, I just didn't know it was that symbol. Yay, the male's now an adult. With his derpy little face. New child, hello there. Hello, Mira. You can rename them, by the way. But, let's see. Why are you not mutating the thing I- the things I want you to mutate? This is how the mutation genes work. I just think I'm being very, very unlucky. Adam and Eve are both getting quite old now, sadly. How do I know what I can actually dig and what I can't, anyway? Oh, I think those are the parasites again. Just gonna keep on clearing some space around us. We are a bit low on food. Okay, little baby, let's have a look at your jeans. B and G. Ignore that noise, my phone just went off right next to the microphone. Hopefully it didn't actually pick up. Oh, another new nest. And a food source. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, then. It's best you go there so you're in range of that food source. You can move out. And yes, I'm going to breed Eve again just because I want to see if I am doing that whole mutagen thing correctly. You can get us some food. It feels like this female is just there forever harvesting from that. I'm probably forgetting to harvest things as well, to be perfectly honest. Aha! Okay, you found another berry bush. Ooh, 
the mask. The mask came through. Oh, look at you, that mask. The poison fangs. Oh, actually, that's a thing, look. Poison fangs have never beaten Cracker Jaw. So I'm assuming then the Cracker Jaw is the dominant of these two. Yeah, it that can't be random chance. I mean, look every single time. Ooh, you're short-sighted. Oh, look, yeah, you can tell look, that the pupil is smaller. That's a neat little feature. Oh, no, that's not the case with you. Is it the eye colour? Oh, yeah, it's the eye colour. Does... Oh, that's really cool. Huh, go figure. Still, look, we've got the mask. Where is the mask here? Oh, there it is. Mask and mask. Excellent. So you will always pass that on to your children. You are eye and star. Any females? Aha! There we go. Mira and this one can mate, which will increase the chance of passing on the mask. I just thought we've coloured in the horns, but we haven't got ram. Yeah, so what, so what we need next then is the ram. I was actually doing that wrong. That's my fault for misunderstanding that. So what I really want then is to change the mutate. Oh, once you've done it, can't you change it? Oh. Oh. It's locked in. So what I really should have done is found the ram horns, which should be here somewhere. There's no... Oh, because we've never expressed it, does that mean it's never came up? Also, with that, I've just realised you have double no ram, haven't you? Yeah, no horns, no horns, which means all of your children will never have that. With you... Darn it, once again, this will never equal a child with horns. You, on the other hand, you and Mira, no, once again. None of the females have been star. Yep, can't do you two. Yeah, not, none of the females so far have had Ram. So is that why I, is that why I can't mutate it? Is that the reasoning there? I think it is, because it would be over here, wouldn't it? That's interesting. That is very interesting. Either way, though, you two can breed. Uh, Eve, you may as well... Oh, hello! Ooh, you've got one of those horrible paws. No, it's a, ve a velvet paw. Plus two stealth, plus one collecting. You've got a big nose, which is extra smelling. You have the D gene, but you are low fertility and normal. Oh, are both of those actually active? Okay. That's interesting. You don't have horns. You have short-sighted and blind. B and D, though. There's not many choices for you. Only that female over there. I guess I, I could breed you in once. Just so... Just so the extra genetic immunity comes into play. Stinky tail. Swimming. Oh yeah, I, I believe I had the fishing tail as well. Which looks like that's always passive over the fluffy tail. Sorry, medium tail. Yeah, sure. Go on then. Join our group, uh, move on over to here. And for now, you can do some harvesting. You can do some digging around. Um, Adam, go and harvest from here. You need to harvest from here. I, again, I've probably missed this quite a lot, but I'm just trying to explore a bit of the game before running out of time. I'm essentially recording this outside of my normal recording schedule. Hello. Horns didn't pass on, sadly. Ah, caring for the baby, so you can't mate when that's going on. That makes sense. Ooh, what's that? Is that a rabbit? Okay, so it's still rabbits. You know what? I don't think these are... the leeches. I think they actually are branches. <laughs> yeah, let, okay, let's find out. If I harvest this, will I definitely get some bedding material? No. Hmm, I wonder what they are, then. Walk on it. Then I don't know what they are.
You can harvest from there, and then just do that. Okay. So there's still a few things I don't fully understand, but that's understandable, which is weird to say. Oh, you're so cute, your little mask. I like this one. He's got a cute mask. Brand new child. Um, I and Star. So obviously that won't work out. You will mount with that again, just once or twice, just to get the new immunity. And you can do a little bit of exploring since there is... Oh, that's not a nest, like a burrow, isn't it? And back in there. You are B and Star. Just checking around a bit. Oh, look at you with the mat. Oh, that's so cute. Inactive stro- Oh, increased camouflage when hiding in grass. That's it. And once again, the um, Cracker Jaws came through. So that's going to be every single child because Cracker plus Cracker and then Poison plus Poison. That's always going to be the result there. Now, in the other islands, there are a lot more threats. There are creatures which will try and eat you, you'll have to try and defend yourself. There's a lot more to this game than what we're currently just showing. And actually, I would like to see some of the new islands, so... I don't want to bring everyone. I just want to bring some which I think have some of the good genes. So... Short sight and blind. I wouldn't actually mind one or two of the blind ones, just so this is so long ranged. Child, do you have di Oh, come on. The kid didn't get the MD gene? That's actually a bit of a problem because you're not going to live much longer. Which island should I go to? I'm going to say this one. So. Will we, will we be bringing Mira? Yes, we will, since she has the normal eyes, even though she does have blind eyes. She doesn't have the mask, though. I do want to bring the masked one, so I will be bringing you, definitely. Blind eyes again. Since I don't mind one or two blind eyes. B and star. So I need something which can mate with him. How about you? G and B, sadly. Iron Star? Wow, really? No one available right now, which would be a good match. That's a shame. Okay, I'm just gonna skip ahead until I have a couple of offspring which I definitely want to bring with us, and then I'll be right back. Okay, something I've noticed, which I wish I noticed a little bit earlier. So for the ram, what you need to do is perform attack. So I actually have to attack things, and then I will unlock the ability, which is actually a lot better. Because this way, we don't have to constantly find new animals with those genes. We can just do all of these different things. Now, some of them are just invite new animals with the gene, but a lot of them are, for instance, swim, perform, dig, Skills perform, swim, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. Also, as you can see, big ears are from the hot climate. There's quite a few things we still need to do. So what we really need to do then is go ahead and attack more creatures. So I'll be doing that whilst I keep on breeding the animals. The upside with Mira, as you can see, is we can see quite a lot. And yeah, the more I look at those, the more I realise they are like twigs or something. So clearly that was me going insane. Oh, is that where we can dig? Okay, so that's what they represent. My god, I am slow today. I think it was just I'm surprised by how much new stuff there actually was. That's what happened here. Well, sadly, Eve has now passed... Which is really quite sad. One of our initial starters has finally went away. So, let's just continue though where we were. Oh, we found a new nest, that's good. Ow. 
and the rabbits are pretty much all there, except for one, which is over here. Finally, a mate for the male, although she does have the mask, she is blind. Which again, isn't as bad as it seems, it really isn't. Okay, if I move here... There we go. So then you can move on as well. So what you need to do is use a couple of them, actually use them in a pack, and then by doing that you can quite easily... Ooh. Are you really that bad at harvesting? Oh, look at you, you're so derpy. I was going to say is you can corner them and then kill them. Well, it's time to go to a new island. Now, if I had more time, I would just stay on this island, keep on breeding them. We have enough food, we can just slow down the breeding process a little bit so we have less pack members. But I am running out of time and I really want to see one of the other islands. Now, sadly, this fellow does have the short-sighted gene. Sorry, the blind eyes gene, and of course, she has double that. So we do need to ensure that when we breed these two to mutate the regular eyes, or perhaps even just the short-sighted eyes, and then something else, something else of interest. On the upside, they'll definitely be bringing the mask, which looks really, really pretty. Let's go. Oh, wow, this island is huge. Okay, so... There are different environments to different islands, but... This one looks about the same, just way, way bigger. So, let's see. Ooh, what's that? Like a cactus? Very odd. Okay. Some kind of clam for us to harvest. Well, for now, let's just get us both up onto here. And you can harvest that. There we are. Lovely. Lots of food. You're quite good at harvesting, aren't you? Because you have double the runner legs, which I think are my favourite, honestly. Just speed, collection, stealth. Nice and simple. Why couldn't you move there? Is that because you're blind? I forgot the limitations with moving with blindness. I really can't remember exactly what it is. Either way, let's put your nest here. Okay, so obviously we can't because there's something in the way and you can't dig very well. Then there will be just as good. Why can't you put down a nest? Do you have to be pregnant to actually make the nest? Yes, you do. And that one has an acorn in the way. Okay, so once again, learning. Harvest, harvest. Okay, so genes. We want regular eyes. Or sh I wouldn't mind the short-sighted eyes. Smelling seems to be really good in this game. So, yep, short-sighted eyes. And... I don't really like the blindness, though, oddly enough. I like the snout you already have, so that's fine for that. You already have the mask gene. How's your fertility? Both of you are maximum with that. Yep, good, good, good. So medium beats big. What'd be better? So the big body makes you stronger by default and more defensive. You're also better with the cold, but less with the heat. With medium, you're stealthier and you're faster. I'd say medium, then. So let's try to force that into the offspring as well. So do the same with the male, I guess. I don't know how much these stack, but let's just do that. So short-sighted and medium body. Now, I believe as well... That even if you already have the gene, it's still beneficial to try and mutate it because it increases the chance of that being passed on to the offspring. I believe that's how that works. First child. Ah, sadly blind. You have double blind. Got the poison fangs as a passive. G and B, you are male. 
And you can just sit there and harvest constantly. That's actually a great place for a nest. You can harvest the tree and harvest the bush every, every single turn. Okay, let's do some exploring. There's the crab there. I don't know how to kill that. Oh, yeah, that's a different plant as well. So there's quite a few new things then. There's probably a lot more to find in this game than what you've found already. For instance, our first enemy. Which is a bear, apparently. We're not very aggressive, are we, in terms of fighting? I'm gonna have to stay. Uh, I'm gonna have to stand my ground because otherwise the kid's gonna be killed. That did a little bit of damage, but not much. So here's a problem. I can't get both of these to defend, so all I have to do is move back next turn. But this turn I'm gonna be hurt quite badly. Okay, baby, move off. Which, which one of you is stronger? I guess this one because of the big body. Yeah, one versus two, so... You move, you up, heal her. Bleeding. And this is why bringing multiple would have been better, but of course, I'm again strapped for time. You cure his bleeding. You... What are you? Did you just mate with my female? Rogue male. What genes do you have? You have antlers. Double dirt. Double dirt snout. Which I think is dominant. So when they have a kid, I'm probably going to banish the kid. Okay, the bear's gonna die next turn from our attacks. There we go. Oh, look, a pheasant. There you go, a bit of a scratch on the rogue male. There we go, and we've killed it. How dare you. Well, female, you're about to have that poor thing's kid, and we're probably gonna kill it upon birth, which is, um... <laughs> not exactly the most pleasant thing in the world, is it? Nice and family friendly. I am on a nest. Oh, the nest got broken. Didn't know that could happen. Oh, hello! Wonderful. Why couldn't I attack you? There we go. I pressed the wrong button, didn't I? We've trapped it around there. And here's that poor creature. Ooh. Oh, it's sick. It's called Meme. <laughs> it's called me. <laughs> it's got double derp, derp snout and double of the same immunity, and of course it's called me. <laughs> oh, that's awful. God, can this thing die? Thank you. Um, I guess we can't kill it. Ooh, you're not a rogue male at all. You're a female. Not, uh, not exactly anything we want. Ooh, actually, gills. You have gills in your genetic code. Well, that's different. Oh, meme. Move there. <laughs> oh, she's so hurt. Oh, so are you. This is your last turn of life. We'll need a male able to mate with this female, but we don't have one. I mean, you're not too bad, but not great either. E and G. Risky, but we need to continue our game, so there we are. So we have two potentials, so we're not exactly out of it yet. She has quite a cute coloured um, fur. Red and white. Oh, that's, that's why she looks quite pink. I'm assuming that cactus can be harvested, but it's going to hurt you in return.
only Omegas can be banished. Well, there you are, you're now an Omega, and only Alphas can banish. You're now an Alpha. Be gone! Now kill your child. I know it's horrible, but I need to upgrade my um, abilities. Okay, new. Oh, Iron Star. Male. I'm sorry, meme. We shouldn't have scratched it. The problem is, though. Oh, it's a female. For some reason, I thought meme was male. I thought it would turn into a rogue male. Okay, the mom's being cruel. Okay, let's find out. No, actually, no, let's not find out. From the stingy cactus. You know what? We're going to leave the stingy cactus alone. Going to move you there. Attack that. Oi, my nest. Should have moved her first. And the male's gone. Okay, good. I just heard sneezing, though. I think that's from the male. Too many blinds. My god! How come you're so hard to kill? There we go, finally. You move there, you mate with you. Not the best. Yeah, us rushing and not bringing enough people. <gasps> finally! You have horns! And you look awesome, GMB. Oh, you're cute. Oh, double, sorry, poison and gills. As wow, actually, you know what? It was looking bad, but now we have quite a bit of um, diversity. Still struggling a little bit for the immunities. I think G is becoming a bit too prevalent. So actually, you, when you're older, should mate with this female. You, then, shouldn't mate as much anymore because I don't want to pass on any more of the G. You need to mate with everything because I want those sodding horns to, to continue. Because you're stronger for that, even though the medium body's made you a little bit weaker. Makes you stealthier, though, in grass. Okay, with that, I think I'm going to call it. I think this is a pretty good gist of how the game works. Obviously, I've been rushing a lot and I've made a whole host of mistakes. I apologise. That's just me being a derp. The turns have no time limit, so obviously if you were actually playing, you could take all the time in the world, get your positioning perfect, have the perfect um, lineage. In fact, what we could do is this. So this is the lineage of the one we're currently clicking on. If we click on one of the females we brought, however, as you can see, there she is. And yeah, it's a bit of a weird family tree because of issues we've had, but still. It's pretty cool. You can have a look at how all the kids have panned out. I think it's a really relaxing game. And if you have more time and are just chilling, I think it's a great game. So I'm really happy they're out of early access. I will be playing this on stream in the not-so-distant future, taking a bit more time. And, of course, naming people as the chat wants me to name them. At least you used to be able to name them. For some reason, I can't click on the name anymore. I don't know if that's changed. But you used to be able to name the children. I'm not quite sure. Oh, there you go. You can name it in this one. So, obviously, I'll be taking name suggestions. I'm waffling far too much. Normally, I'm, I'm a bit more concise than this. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then, of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and, most importantly, shows that niche is something you might want to see in the future. Probably just a one-off, but certainly a fun game to take a look at. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.